Well, bello. <laughs> or should we say? Bonjour. Bonjour. Uh, je m'appelle Donkey. Um, no, guys, we uh, have been invited over to the Saltgate Burl Group, as it's called, and Saltgate and Sky, Sky. Agriculture. Yeah all uh, produced here in this site basically just outside uh, i think i've got this right now don't laugh at my french uh, Rene. <laughs> yeah <laughs> and uh, it's been an absolutely fantastic uh trip around this factory this facility the reason we come up into the corner and did the wee video here and we want to take you on the journey through the factory is we're still very much in mask mode here in the factory and walking through it trying to talk to you guys uh, isn't yeah, going to be simple but going to work. first things first we come over here to look at the salty brand we mostly know salty for these things over here sort of laser swords there's a dx20 model at hq farmer garth and then uh, big jimmy mckay has the x40 plus model with his uh, section control and all the bells and whistles on it they also run a sulky drill and, drill, uh, and yeah. sulky make some big kit too and some trailed machines then in the seeding world go under the name of sky, sky. the three production facilities in france yeah one in italy that makes the par hurls yeah and i can't remember where else they have 250 to 300 i think 300 employees and such a well run tidy clean factory first thing that that strikes me in this factory is if you can see the doors all with a number right nothing's outside and that's what gary put the drone up first that was the first job gary did because we knew it was going to rain and he says big man there's nothing outside no there was literally a couple of big drills sitting outside that was that metals unloaded inside all new plants loaded inside yeah. transfer between factories inside and we've seen Seen um, a load of a load of from Italy coming in today. Coming in yeah. today is right. A lot of the metal comes cut now. Um, yeah, they they outsource uh, it and leave it ready for they, bending nearly. They used to do it nearly all themselves, I think, and then they just realised their per time was better spent. Time is better yeah. spent making the actual product. Yeah, yeah. So they have a all the bits that they need to be brought in that get that they're buying in. Um, they're looking to expand that, so they're going to go into a new building shortly for spare parts. That's right. Because um, COVID has taught everybody you need to store, stock more stuff, mm -hmm. PTO shafts, all the rest of it. So components is an issue. It's an issue with this company, the same as every other company. Mm -hmm. Then it's basically out into where the metal comes in, where they're folding. Right. Yeah, it's folded. Jigging. It's the, it's, yeah. yeah, it's put on the cats then to make the bins or make the, the frames and they're all welded in house robotically on manually um, they've uh, they've three robots in this facility yeah do you know one thing that i noticed straight away they have between their folding and their jigs and their punches and everything every machine has up in the corner of the machine the price that it costs so we've got robots at 300 and something thousand yeah. you have Brake uh, press is at 188,000. Yeah, There's a big brake press there at 360 or something, I think she was. And they've all that information up on the screen to show the workers of the money and the investment that the Burrell family, uh, mm -hmm. particularly Julian, who we met earlier on, um, puts it's back in it, yeah. to the company yeah. and reinvest it. Because it also gives employees, you know, this is an expensive bit of kit I'm, mm -hmm. I'm working with here. so. With this site the, here is only what 12 years old did they say 12 years old yeah. it was in the, the the center of town here yeah. I, I can't remember it's something like shatterburg or something yeah. like that it's pronounced so but even this is, they said this was built with you know to be energy at, saving in mind and not light friendly, and yeah. nice for the workers well so. you can see the way they've done it at the end it's all a lot of natural light comes in and they have all the, the pipes through the system to the thermal heating yeah. system and the idea of doing it that way is they didn't want, if you put too much area where the sun can get in, in the summertime it's it impossible to work. Yeah. So they went down that route. Um, they have an incredible paint process, I have to give it to them. And, and if you buy a sulky fertilizer store, you have to bear in mind now, anything that gets touched basically with fertilizer, they will give you a seven year guarantee mm -hmm. on the paint. It's not the first time no, we've come it's across not, it's not. But Similar, very Fert similar process. Fertilizer is considered 
the most corrosive, the most corrosive stuff. thing you can do. I can understand <laughs> that maybe on likes of your big drills or your parharas, how do you give a warranty on that? Because it's getting battered useless. Aye, well the stuff that's in there on the ground, you can't, you know. But it's like, engaging the ground, yeah, but yeah. They, they offer that. And you went through the paint process, Gary. Serious. Describe it. It starts off with a blast. And we have an automated blasting system. Yeah. Which can put up to five ton of shot through each cycle. Thing. Yeah. As they call yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, depending on what it is. And that's integrated into the the rail the system, rail system yeah. that goes yeah. round. Yeah. Yeah. So it comes out of there, it heads across and it, the first coat's dipped, so everything's submerged and the undercoat basically for the sampler term of it. But that's charged. Positive positive energy. negative. You, you'll see <laughs> you'll see on the reel whenever she comes down. The reels the, the product's positive and then she has a negative comes on to her once she's in the paint and she sits in there for like two minutes. So they get 30 micron, they attract to that within that two minutes. Then she goes up on the reel again. Well if she goes round then 30 micron must be the the deeper leaves the ultimate because obviously the, the longer depth. they leave it in, the more will be attracted to yeah. it and the deeper it will become. Yeah, yeah. so that would that's probably the most they can put on and tolerances for building and assembly and all then because if you start putting too much on then stuff <laughs> starts to not fit. Does it get baked after the primer it does? Yeah and then it goes to colour. It's all on the rail, it all just follows through and then it's, it's all hand spread the colour. It has. And then it goes out and is obviously baked again once it leaves the... And I noticed they have a very... because obviously if you're offering a seven year guarantee with your paint they have, a, they have a very strict control process on that. Yeah. They're at it with the light. Yeah, there's, a, there's an area at the end that's all white light and uh, uh, scrutinised down there, basically. similar system to a lot of the factories we see throughout Europe. It's a JIT system which That's is just right. in time. Yeah, yeah. Components are coming in, they're hand picked for each machine, they're wheeled out to that see machine. See the trolleys there for each individual that, machine. That yeah. is a kit. That's a kit, yeah. That goes together mm -hmm. and at that point right down to the owner manuals, operator manuals, I found one going to Russell's in the UK there, our top spec uh, X40 Plus. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. That's into the finishing end of it. Yeah, and that, uh, they all go through a stage there. The, the mechanical side of them's all built, and say like the likes of your farmer Gara specs. So we're the twenty. Was, yeah, when the she's DX there, 20. yeah, she's ready to go. But if she's like Jimmy's sore, she goes on to another bay where all the electric size of bus everything's fit it, and then she goes to this just behind us here. Actually, that's where they that's where they test the way cells. Yes. And calibrate everything before she's ready to go. So they're running, I can't just remember how many, but they're running many different assembly lines mm -hmm. from the, the smallest of the fertilizer sores mm -hmm. or spinners as we yeah, call them, yeah. up to the most complex, then into the drills. Drills. And then right down to the very bottom sky. end of the sky. Yeah. But like they're they're sitting here connecting up six meter par harrows. Mm -hmm you know, to a full air system, but yep. they still have in the background the good old fashioned gravity fed, if you want to <laughs> want to call it. Oh, your tradi traditional, traditional seed box, seed really. Box. Yeah. And they're still selling those in three metre, but... And then you've your, your sky drills there. 
wouldn't know a lot this, about the sky the, system, but no. I suppose it's the trailed. That's the trailed, yeah. yeah there's and the hopper seems to be around the uh, organic seeding process, from what I can make out of it there. It's, it's very much designed around that. That's it, and the front hoppers. So when they're connecting up the front hoppers, so if you go to your, I think it's called the Progress Range, uh -huh. um, so you get like a P100 front hopper. Like the ones we've seen in the field yesterday. Or a rear hopper, and they actually can have, so you can put three things down the when you're drilling. You can, yeah. you can have your bin split into three, so you can have yeah. a front, two in the rear, or whatever way around you want to do it. So, and a lot of guys are starting to do that, so we've got the fertiliser option with the seed yeah. and maybe something else. Yeah. So they would maybe be sowing, I don't know, um, protein crop along with that. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and fertiliser at the well. same time. So, so that's the precision agriculture and that's where Sulky and Sky and, and the Burrell company or the group are, are trying to get to. The very much the reason they invited us over guy was to talk about Sustainability, sustainability really? of yeah. agriculture, mm -hmm. and they were very keen to emphasise to us that they don't just make metal here, no. that they want to make sure and help progress and get that right. So, like, it's I very think. much about a connection with the farmer, yeah, as right. well. But it's an absolutely super factory, and they also have a partnership with uh, Lemkin, so they make the sores for Sorry. Lemkin as well. Yeah. So, there was one or two different shade of blue ones going through the... Yeah, I think a lot of them are for the German market. <laughs> and the UK market, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that, that's a partnership they have with, with with Lemkin as well. So, you know, Lemkin see the value in the in the salty, the, the sore, and that's who, yeah, they, who, yeah, who they got yeah. to make it. But what I did notice was, um, so if you buy your top of the range salty spreader, as an example, you have your app, you pick your fertilizer, all the fertilizers are in it, and it, you know, and it runs you right through, gives you exact Throw settings to sense. set it, yeah. and off you go, yeah. pretty A, B, C. Yeah. Yeah. But I think the, fi the factory's an absolute credit to them. Uh, it really is. That's, um, uh, that's, everybody seems at ease. That's very quiet. You know, it's clean, airy, light. That's just a nice place to be. And a nice temperature. That's actually, yeah. That's like, and, yeah. You know, I suppose these guys have big ambitions over the, the coming years. They, they want to grow their market. They want to grow their, 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 their global mm -hmm. sales as well. But they also want to help farmers be the best. And that's what attracted help us to Help farmers still be there. Yeah. Yeah. Because if farmers aren't here, these guys aren't here. Exactly. Exactly. And if we don't help put that message out, then that that comes right back to us mm -hmm. as well. But it's been a it's been a fantastic visit. I, I've noticed that you know a lot of the employees aren't walking around here wearing their own clothing. Their uniform has all got this farming together, mm -hmm. and there seems to be that real, real good atmosphere about it. Their paint process is top drawer. Their their quality, even some of the folding. When we were watching it, seriously accurate. The accuracy, yeah. accuracy was yeah, there, yeah, yeah. and yeah. Um, top grades are still being used, and you know it's still coming in there, but all wrapped, all covered. Yep. Lorries all well covered, not sitting outside at all. Still getting blasted. There's a lot of pride in this build, for sure. Yeah. But I definitely, I haven't seen much of the Sky Range now. It's something I wouldn't mind seeing a bit more well, of. I'm sure there's someone in the UK running Sky. Yeah, there must be. But uh, just looking around them there, when I was filming, they seemed very well made put together. Of course, everybody in Ireland talks about seedbed preparation and you need the right horror for that job. And, but I was trying to count up in the six metre how many times. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and I'm starting to run out of fingers and toes, but. They seem to be well spaced, so it'll be very interesting uh, to know what the thoughts are and how that how that horror well, actually uh, works. We, we seen two of them running yeah. yesterday at a, a farm. That was an impressive I'm place. An eye, a super farm. Yeah. Um, um, su um, su super man to you know advertise for for the salt yeah, yeah. They were running. I just can't remember. I think it was four and a half meter behind the deer, maybe four meter. I think it was maybe four and a half. Four, four and, and a half. half I think four. it was in a six. Four and a half and a six. six. Fent yeah. him, but the Fent was just running in eco mode at that crack. Like, but taking over, honestly, like it was such an impressive machine. So look, Salty, thanks for bringing us here. It's been uh, a clip, fantastic, and uh, very lovely again to be here. 
super spot. I think we're going to meet the director of sales and that later on, and I think he has a 14.55. Yeah. And we're going to see that. So, see you later, guys. What a super factory. Well done, Salty. Thanks for inviting us, and uh, au revoir. <laughs>